whether you're technical or not, I really hope you'll pay attention. This is going to be so important. And at first you go, well, that's a small piece of the system. It's everything in these systems. This is a secret sauce of Teradata, the hashing formula. Take a look at this. We've got a row, Rafael Manal. His employee number is 1001. Employee number is the primary index. So what Teradata is going to do when they lay out that row, they're going to hash it with their secret hash formula, 1001, and the answer is a 13. That row hash will stay with that row forever, and they'll know which amp it goes on. That's what I want you to know right now. We know there's only one hash formula, so it's going to be real consistent. Take a look down here. That's the hash map. It says one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a million buckets in there. You don't need to know that, but just know that inside the one, two, three, one, two, three are the amp numbers. If there were eight amps in the system, it'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it'd fill up all million bucks. If there were a hundred amps in the system, one to a hundred, one to a hundred, that's the idea. It's just a map. It's almost like you could just take a picture and put it on the wall because this will not change until the number of amps change. What's happened, what, once a year? So understand that the hash map just sits there Nothing ever changes in it, but here's how it works. Teradata hashes Rafael Manal's row because employee number is the primary index. 1001 is hashed. That 13 is the row hash answer. They count over 13 buckets in that map and they go, oh my goodness, that landed on this 13th bucket. What's in there? A one. Rafael Manal is going to amp one. Stay with me. Now let's look at it again in slow motion. What is the primary index of this row? It's employee number. Let's hash it. What's the value? 1001 row hash 13. If we went through this process a million times and hashed 1001, it always come up with a 13. Count over 13 buckets in the hash map. What's it say? A one, we're going to amp one. Take the row hash with the row stored on AMP1, and you can see, as I've got down for you in red, that the 13 is right in front of that row, and it will be attached forever. Every row in every table is hashed. Hey, what's the second row of this table? Well, it's Maria Gomez. 1002 is the primary index. Hash it. Ooh, the row hash is a five. Count over five buckets. Ooh, that says to go to AMP2. Take the five with you, Maria, and put that on amp two. Speed clock it. Hash 1003. It's a nine. Count over nine buckets. There you go. Take it to amp three. Take the nine with you. We're laying this data out quickly. You see, we had a unique primary index on this table, amp no, and all of the employees are laid out with perfect distribution. Notice the rows and notice in front of every row is the row hash. That's going to be part of our row ID. Stay with me. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details.